Welcome back to the Barber Mosaic. I am Maurice. And today's question, should we move over from the R5 to the R5C? And with the newly released Canon EOS R5C, there's been a lot of talk on whether R5 owners should make that jump and upgrade from the R5 to the R5C. I did that and I wanna share with you my thoughts on both cameras if I feel like moving was a good idea, if I regret it, or if it was the best move ever, if I'm gonna keep my R5, what I'm gonna do is at this point, I have three camera bodies. I have the EOS R that I'm filming on right now, shooting in 1080p, looks good, I love that. I also have, of course, the R5C and the R5. Now, I did own the Canon EOS R6, but because of overheating issues with the R5 and the R6, I jumped at the chance to get my hands on the Canon EOS R5C. With that being said, I had to sell one of my cameras. My dilemma was, do I sell the R5? Do I sell the R6? Do I sell my EOS R? I ended up getting rid of the R6 in favor of keeping the R5 and the EOS R, now with the R5C, and I could be in the market to get rid of one more body. We'll see how it goes. This is the Canon EOS R5, the OG of the bunch, the OG R5. And yo, this camera has done some amazing things for me. I really have enjoyed using this camera from a stills perspective. It was the best, the most pristine camera that I have used so far from a stills perspective. I love it. The 45 megapixel sensor. The file sizes were a little bit large, but I mean, you give and take, it is what it is. Of course, you have the fully articulating screen, which is dope. You have the top side menu mode to let you know what mode you're in. Beautiful viewfinder, a sensor. Great build quality, fits well in your hand. Just an easy camera to carry. Ken did their thing when they, when they decided to jump into the mirrorless game. They really did. But the R6, the R5, Two really dope cameras. My biggest grievance with the EOS R5, the OG R5, was whenever I would shoot into those higher frame rates, I'm talking 4K 60, 1080p 60, the camera would overheat after a period of time. Now I did get the Ninja 5 in order to help me with that, and it did help. But when I wanted to shoot in 4K 120, or even 1080p 120 for that matter, the Ninja 5 was no help. So I needed a tool that I can shoot that fast action, get that slow motion, because I do a lot of sports, I do a lot of weddings. I wanted to get that fast action at 4, 4K at 120 frames per second, or even 1080p, 120 frames per second. So when the specs were released for the R5C, I was like, hell yeah, this is exactly what I want. Like, this is the camera that I'm gonna use. My biggest question in terms of, you know, getting the R5C, while I still had the R5 was, am I gonna give up something from a stills perspective? Like, is it, is it gonna be everything I need for video, but be lacking in photo? And I quickly learned, no, like this is an R5. Camera, the R5C is what the R5 should have been. It's what we all thought the R5 was. From front to back, it is a little thicker than the R5. Has a different hot shoe on top. And this hot shoe, they say that it doesn't support everything that this one supports, but we'll be finding out soon what the, the story is on the, on the hot shoot. In video mode, you get a normal recording, slow and fast motion, slow and fast clip with audio. You get pre-recording, frame recording, and interval recording. You get different choices of the sensor that you want to use, whether it's a full frame sensor, a Super 35 crop, or a Super 16 crop. Yeah, with the Canon EOS R5C, you get a ton of different options in terms of your video specs, as well as 10, 11 customizable buttons that you can make do whatever you want them to do. One thing that kind of that kind of annoyed me is coming from the R5, this button right here on the R5, this button right here on the R5, this was a button that was used to record, but in the R5C, it's this button. So what I did was I went into the settings and I was able to change this custom button number 10 into the record button. That made things a whole lot easier for me. Then let's talk a little bit about the price difference. The R5C, brand new, 
was $38.99, whereas the R5C was $600 more. It was $44.99. So for $600 more, you're getting all these features and capabilities of virtually a C70 in pretty much the same body. Now, I've never used the Canon C70 or the C200. This is my first full foray into the EOS Cinema line, but I think this is a great place to start. This is absolutely a great place to start. The menus are pretty easy. You get waveforms, zebras, all the things that you would get from an external monitor, something like a Ninja 5. But the one drawback to this camera from a video perspective when it comes to being out there in the field collecting video, the screen is just so small, man. When we talk about like cinema, cinema, this, the screen is small and I have to use an external monitor when I'm, use, when I'm using this camera, I will have to use an external monitor. And with that is gonna come, but when I'm shooting in 4K at 120 frames per second, or in 1080p at 120 frames per second, is the Ninja 5 going to pick up? And it's not, it's not compatible for that yet. Now, that's an Atomos thing, or that's a Canon thing, I'm not sure, but I know that the Sony FX3 is compatible with the Atomos Ninja V+. That, those together can shoot 4K at 120 frames per second. So you get a larger screen and you get all the capabilities that you're looking for. I need an update, please. Canon, Atomos, y'all work together, do whatever y'all gotta do because I wanna be able to get a Ninja 5 or Ninja Plus, put it with this and get my 4K 120, my slow-mo. I need that, I need that, I want that, I desire that. Or I've done a couple light jobs with the, the R5C. I have a wedding coming up this week. That's really gonna see what I can do. So. I will be mounting this to a Ronin. I will be rigging it out at some point um, because I do have the power adapter that I'm gonna need, the battery bank, so that I can keep it, you know, keep it running and keep it charged fully. That is an issue. Bro, this thing right here eats batteries, bro. I'm telling you, a full, a full battery, they say 40 minutes, but a full battery for me, 30 minutes, it was done. All things considered, I love my R5. This was like my first like real deal camera. This is my first five series camera. I love this camera. I'm gonna keep it. I'm not gonna get rid of it. I'm gonna keep my R, this camera that I'm filming on now. My daughters can use that. And I'll just have two bodies, which is honestly what you would wanna do for the type of work that I'm doing. You wanna have two bodies, even though I know for a fact that my R5C will never heat up on me. And because of that, bro, I am ecstatic but I'm still gonna keep my R5. If you're looking at getting a new R5C, I know Cardinal Camera in Charlotte, North Carolina has a couple of them left. I got one and they, they had like nine shipped into them. I know they've got a couple of them left. The guy told me, shout to Kurt, over at Cardinal Camera in Charlotte, North Carolina. I love this camera. I love this camera and I love it. It's dope. This has been more recent about Mosaic. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And any questions, concerns, comments that y'all might have, drop them below in the comments. Drop them below. Let's chop it up. I'm out.